Hey everybody, Seth and Ryan here from Go to Market Advisors, bringing you another uh, another new series on what we're calling executive pipeline isms and how to combat them. So, if anybody has been in sales leadership or a sales rep or a sales manager, all of the above, we've all sat through pipeline meetings where executives will tell us things, and we all kind of roll our eyes. This is meant to be poke fun at that, but also to talk through how do you politely combat them to be more effective in your day to day because they are isms as a kind of a joke, but they do affect, you know, how you go to market and also could have a big uh, impact on your business. All right. Pipeline ism number two, my personal favorite that made me roll my eyes to sales rep. You have to have three X coverage. Do I, <laughs> do I actually need three X coverage? We're here to break down the myth that you do not need 3X coverage. And it's actually a bad practice to think through that because, you know, before I hand it off to Ryan here, the number one thing this creates is reps to force things. And when reps force things, you get bad results. It's as simple as that. As any sales reps have ever done it, you inflate pipeline, you're afraid to close deals. That has a ton of ramifications behind it. We're gonna table those, but Ryan, care to talk about what we're gonna break down here and kind of take down the pipeline-ism of you need 3X coverage. Yeah, so I think as as you think about pipeline coverage, the, the multiple should never be fixed um, because that that implies that every company has the same close rate, which we all know is not true. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, it was always meant to be kind of a, a benchmark in essence. Um, but it can be a really dangerous one. And so we want to talk about why. So, yeah. so let's talk about kind of the problem. And then we'll talk a little bit about what, what you can do about it to kind of work this and to, to make it more successful for you. So if you were to have a quota in this example, you're seeing on the screen of $500,000 and the expectation for the company is a three X multiple, then you as a team or your individual reps would need quota coverage in essence of $1.5 million. So in this example, if that's what we have, let's say we were successful in doing so, but our win rate was 25%, that leaves you missing the mark substantially by $125,000. So what it's what this example is meant to showcase is the coverage ratio should be a direct reflection of your win rate. If you win one out of four, having three deals to work doesn't matter because you're not going to hit your result. So it's it's setting an unrealistic expectation. So I think just in simple terms, the way to think about this is your pipeline coverage expectations should be the multiple needed to get your win rate correct. So if you close one out of four deals, you need to have four deals for every close period you're focused against. Yeah. And where and are those deals going to fall from the sky? Because this is the my favorite thing. Having been a sales rep, is well, you need to have that. And the reality is, like, yes, I understand that I should probably have more deals than what my quota is. So some empathy here for the sales reps and sales managers out there that you know understand that pipeline is very difficult to get. It's very hard to make sure that you're doing it consistently because everybody gets a lot of pipeline, closes it, and then you know has no pipeline. I think this, if you think about the purpose of this from an executive standpoint, it's to encourage a sales rep to have a process and a method into how they run their business. And so if you're looking at this, Ryan, how often should you assess this multiple? Is it once a quarter? Or is it, you know, two times a year? How often would you assess that? Because I think that's one thing that I don't want to encourage here is just managers to look at this month over month and go, well, your win rate's changing. Like you need some yeah. data set and some normalcy there. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think this is one of those metrics you obsess over like day to day, week to week. I think this is kind of a barometer that you check maybe on a monthly basis with the expectation that it ebbs and flows. You know, at the beginning of the quarter, oftentimes you're going to have a, a kind of a spike in the coverage. And then as deals close lost or you win them, obviously that coverage goes down over whatever period of time. So I don't think, yeah, being over indexed on this is critical. I think the key thing is as a manager, I think your focus should be less on quantity and more on quality. 
you are way better off having 2x coverage of real deals, fully vetted, executives engaged, ready to buy, than you are having 10x coverage of just looky lose well, and, dark. And this, and, this, and this goes into is like the classic coverage component is where do you start your coverage at? Do you start it after you had a discovery call? Do you start it after you had a demo? And is all our demos the same? If I'm talking to a project manager versus an executive, are, are those the same level of you know importance and coverage in your mind? Yeah. My mind, no. So I think there's a yeah. weight to that as well. That's not just a best case commit weight. It's a reality weight of where somebody's at in their buying journey. Yeah, I think I think that's true. So that, there's a number of other factors we can dive into here. I think the simple answer is when you think about coverage, think of it in direct reflection of your win rate. Um, we will talk in in later episodes about well, you know, kind of all pipeline isn't created equal. If you're a late stage pipeline, obviously that's more valuable and um, than than early stage pipe, et cetera. But but for simple math, when you think about coverage ratios, don't over index on an exact ratio when you think of doing this analysis from a manager perspective, focus on quality. And secondarily, make sure that the coverage ratio is in direct reflection of your win rate. And the simple math you can do is take your quota, divide it by your win rate, and that's your quota uh, coverage amount. So use that as your kind of barometer there. But hopefully this gives you a less off the cuff and more practical way to manage your book of business. 